Hello, my name is Julie Ann Chavez. My main sign is Julie Ann, or I'm also known as the quilting nerd, the quilting nerd. I received several requests for uh, the pattern for the mat that I made the other day. I showed a picture and several of you have contacted me and asked if I would show how to make it. Here is the max that I made. It's very simple. Uh, it doesn't take a lot of time to make, but it might be a little slow on the video because I'm trying to show you. So you can get this mask done between five to 10 minutes. So here's what it looks like. This is the front of the mask. This is the inside, inside of the mask. The reason why there's two separate material is because I was informed by hospital that they need to know which one is the front side of the max, the front. Why? All the germs and the droplets all come and hit the front of the mask. So if both sides were made with the same material, they could, you know, have this and they're breathing it in. So most require, I shouldn't say most, all require, you know, two different kinds of fabric, the front and one for the inside. Okay, so for now we're going to call this the front and this the back side to avoid confusion. So what you're going to need is material for the front and material for the back side of the mask. I cut seven by nine inches, so seven inches by nine cut seven, nine. And then what you're going to need is a bungee cord. You can use a shoestring. You can use like a t-shirt strip. Uh, Vicky Sweet, Vicky of Alabama made tea t-shirt strings for her masks. It was really cool to watch her do that. Um, a sewing machine, scissors to, to cut thread, and a marker so that you can mark where to put in the nose pinchers. And speaking of nose pinchers, I've been using pipe cleaners. That's all I've been doing. I think I cut it at four and a half inches, maybe. So, okay. And these masks that we're making right now are for adults. So let's get going. First thing we are going to do as we are going to sew one fourth inch on the right side, the seven inch side. Just sew one seam at one fourth uh, inch. So now that I've sewn one fourth of an inch, it should look like this. Next, you just want to finger press the seam towards the front material. Now on the long side, 
you want to fold a little bit more than one fourth of an inch, maybe three eighths of an inch. Fold it up. I, I just, you know, finger press it down and then sew one fourth of an inch. Okay, I've sewn one fourth of an inch. I fold it over a little bit more than one fourth. It's about three eighths of an inch. And if I fold exactly one fourth, the stitches, the fold may not stay. So you can do straight stitch or a zigzag or something just to secure that fold, just to secure it. So we're gonna do the same thing again on the other side. Now we've sewn both sides of the long side. And here. Next step. Is to sew the short seven inch side one fourth of an inch again. Now that we've sewn both sides, we turn it inside out to have the front facing out. What I'm doing is finger pressing the edges. Yeah, the fun part. Forget that. Add this. Do some final stitching. Add the nose picture, and then we'll be done soon. But I want to explain that bungee cord I bought on Amazon, and I also bought the toggles on Amazon as well. You can buy with both of these together if you want. I think it's like a set of 25 cords and 25 toggles. I'm not sure, but the size of this is one eighth inch cord. And you need to look for toggles that fits with one eighth inch cord. The other thing is, this kind that I bought is marine grade bungee cord. Okay, so now, before we put this in, we need to mark with a um, soluble ink pen where the nose pincher will be. So, at one and a half inches from the edge. Then mark on both sides. But when I mark, I forgot to mention that I just used the width of this. Oh, I can get it to work. Okay. Then you just need to mark across or you can eyeball it. Whatever is your choice. I just eyeball it. 
So now add the cord inside. You want each side cord on each side of the mask. All the way to the edge. Same on the other side. And what you will do is you will take your sewing machine but the fabric against the edge of your sewing foot. You're going to sew against the cord, not on it, right next to it, right here. And so, same thing to the other side. But what I'm going to do to save time is I'm going to sew, stop at the bottom, turn, So, so one eighth of an inch. And then that's the cord. So, and then turn and sew up to the red line, down and up the red line and then to the edge again. So that is where you are making a nose pick, nose pincher pocket, pocket. So watch me. You want it with the marking side up. So you can see where you're making your nose pinch pocket. Make sure your sides are even, both the front and the back material are even. And then butt the foot right into the cord and then you're going to turn. So what you just did was make a casing for the cord. So you're done with that. And now we need to make a pocket for the nose pincher. So I'm gonna turn it again. And so right up to my first marking that I made with a pen and turn. And stop at the end of the marking again and turn.
Again, stop at the other last red marking that I made. Return. Okay, and I turned again because I'm going to sew to the edge to the cord and then put my finishing stitches so that it stays secure. We started here, so, and then we turn, so, so, you made a casing for the cord. So then, so, to the mark line, so, So and so. So now what you just finished making was the pocket for the note picture. Okay. So we're going to insert it. And now we just sew the opening. This goes like this. Press the nose pincher. So they're basically, you just adjust it. You adjust it till it's snug. No fogging. If you have this up far enough underneath your glasses and it's secure under your glasses, it prevents the fogging that I've noticed. And the other nice thing is you won't lose your mask. I just fold it. That's that. And if you have to put it back on, it's right here. I really like this mask. It's easy to make. You don't have to deal with making pleats. Um, I find that the pipe cleaner is very soft and it's gentle, not hard. And I noticed that there's no like sharp edges, only if you fold it in a little bit and twist. Um, on the edges of the pipe cleaner, like I did. And that just twist, twist. You put it on, you can leave it on. 
And the other thing about having a cord is when you have it adjusted the way it fits the best on your head, you can just put it on unless you need to tighten it a little bit more. That's it. So, and that's how you make it. If you have any questions, um, you need more information, please feel free to contact me through Facebook, Instagram, or email at julianne at the quilting nerd.com. Thank you so much for your time and have a wonderful evening. My brain is done for the day. Sorry. I can't think, sign, and talk at the same time. <laughs> have a good evening.